got uh, Lorne resuming from a spell on Saturday at Caulfield. How's he going heading into the first up run? He's going well, Ben. Um, he's uh, He's been in work a long time. Um, Dad had him up in Sydney for a fair while before he's come down. He's been here probably about a month now. Um, he had a private trial at our, at our farm before he come down. He's had another one here since, so he's fairly forward, but he needs to be. He's at that level now where, um, you know, you sort of can't leave no stone unturned and, and um, to compete at that higher level. So, especially coming off a long break, um, he needs to be fairly forward, and he is that, but um, he just lacks a little bit of race fitness on his side, but um, he's definitely going to improve as the races get longer for him. Really gifted galloper. I oh, know it's early. Do you have any sort of spring targets for him at this stage? With him, mate, um, he's he's got a lot of problems. He's got a lot of feet issues, and that's what's held him back all his all his career. So, it's a pr- pretty much a race by race thing with him. Um, at the moment, we're all good. Um, we're heading into Saturday, you know, really well with him. Um, as I said, he's quite forward, but he just hopefully, you know, you just want to get a bit of that race fitness on his side for a, sort of second tilt at fourteen hundred rather than a first up one. I noticed the race plates have gone on this week. Is that some sort of guide that we can see that his feet are come, you know, at this stage are in a good good way? Yeah, exactly right. Yep, uh, we've just gone for normal race plates Saturday and um, usually has the, the um, glue-on shoes. So, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we can get a good prep out of him because he is a talented horse. Uh, Yule Alona goes around the first on Saturday. How's he going? He's going well. He's starting to get up to his trip now. Um, drops a touching weight from his last run, which he's always sort of probably been a half a run short every run he's competed in this time in. So, um, as I said, he's getting right up to his mark now. He's very fit. He's had three weeks in runs, and we've really bored the work into him once he gets up to this trip and he gets a bit of fitness under his belt. He really thrives on it. So um, we've held him up to the mark here on the track, and um, I really think he'll run a big race on Saturday. And in the last, you've got the Philly Glows, who was really promising first up. First start on a heavy, is that any concern? Yeah, it's always is. You know, you don't really know. Um, look, we worked on a rain-affected track here Tuesday, but it's not the same as race day, and it won't be the same as what's presented with us on Saturday. So we've got to take it uh, case by case, and she deserves a crack at this. I think um, she's going extremely well. Um, she did everything we wanted to first up. She was underdone, and, and she won accordingly. Um, she's... She's trained on tremendous, so um, we can't fold her. And, you know, we've drawn the middle of this speed inside and outside her, so um, she doesn't have to leave, but she'll be an on-speed runner. And um, I'm sure she'll get every chance.